You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. So welcome to another Nerd Stalker interview. Good uh, morning. This is Greg Laurie, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today we're talking about an app that can help you find the perfect place to rent, and and, and especially relevant here in the San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area. I'm pleased to talk with Nitin Shingate and Vikram Raghavan, uh, co-founders of Rental, Rental Roost. Uh, I'll, I'll let them explain the service to you more later because it's really kind of interesting and I think it's very relevant, especially for this area. Um, a little about Nitin, he's a very solid technical background and especially in the area of software development. Um, Nitin has developed uh, in his career uh, uh, into a proven kind of senior IT executive actually and uh, recently as an entrepreneur um, using his technology background and real estate knowledge to help create Rental Roost and Vikram uh, was at the famous Overstock.com uh, where he held uh, various senior marketing positions so uh, I think it sounds like a good team so anyway good morning uh, Nitin and Vikram and thanks for joining us here on NerdSarker live here on Google Hangouts from uh, Pleasanton, California. Our pleasure. Thank you very much. So, uh, do you want to add anything about yourselves? Uh, you, you told me something funny before we went live, but I don't think expect you to do that. But you know, you might want to add to your bios that I didn't cover. Yeah, just to let you know that uh, uh, this is Nitin Shinte. I used to work with NetZero, United Online, and I was a VP of uh, Software Development. I had a very good uh, experience in big data and. One of the things we started rental rules that I moved from Southern California to Northern California, and we had a lot of issues finding rental properties. And our family with the kids and a different age group, and especially this was a very important for me to find a good place before I can buy a house here. And that's why me and Vic met in a one of our previous startup companies, and where we started talking about this topic and. That's why it started that we should start something in the technology which can help the real estate market. Yeah, you've done, you've flattered me so much with that introduction. Anything I do is just downhill. So I will refrain from adding any more comments there. We know who the marketing person is of the U2, so that's good. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. we'll go right into it here. Um, you know, uh, the rental market here is very tough. As you just kind of mentioned, we both mentioned in the San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area, um, it's either due to the tech boom or a bubble, depending on who you talk to, right? And uh, the typical way to do this uh, from friends and friends of friends and people I know is Craigslist uh, or other uh, web database services, uh, Trulia, Zillow, uh, even even some of the startups I deal with do Airbnb, believe it or not. And so, using that as a backdrop, let's talk about what motivated you guys, motivated you guys, or you know, thought about how to serve this market better with rental rooms. So you know, I'll I'll jump in first. Yeah, go ahead. So, the one thing I like about Craigslist is it's very relevant, right? The ads have a very finite shelf life, so whatever you see on Craigslist is immediate. I love that aspect of it, right? Very current. What I hate about Craigslist is. 80% of the stuff that's listed on there is junk and or from a Nigerian relative you've never met. Now, <laughs> now that the challenge I see is how do you figure out which one's a real listing and which one's not? And so what we tried to do is we said, what if we could take everything that's good about Craigslist? What if we could make our listings very current? What if we could make it responsive? But add in layers that actually help people who are not familiar with the city. Look, if you knew everything about San Francisco, great. Craigslist is where you want to go. You know what Nob Hill is. You know what kind of people live there. You know that's where you want to live. Unfortunately, most people aren't like that. They don't know where they want to live. What they know is, I love going out to restaurants, and I wish I didn't have to drive everywhere. Well, now you're kind of screwed, whether it's truly a Zillow, apartment list, you name it. Everybody is so focused on giving you a million listings. You're never physically going to be able to go to a million properties. I can guarantee it, you know, unless that's what you do for a hobby, which is a different story. But if you don't, then how do I find the 10 properties that I really care about because I know this is where my lifestyle is going to fit in? And that's where we wanted to build a tool that takes what we know about you and takes what we know about the location that you're looking at and marries it together to figure out if there's an ideal match or not. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as uh, eHarmony for rentals. So, <laughs> what we talk about the Facebook lifestyle, 
I take what I know about the location and we'll set you up on your first day. That's our model. Yep. And similarly, like what Vic was saying that this is a harmony, but if we somebody's coming from different cities and they want to find in San Francisco, they don't know anything, we are like a Google because we give all the information about all your lifestyle information in a one shot. You don't have to go to google.com and search for everything. This is everything in one place and we are able to find it in a few milliseconds. So, so tell us a little bit about how this service works, you know, so you could describe this to the audience. And uh, you know, I don't, I know you're probably not ready to demo it, uh, but just kind of explain exactly how how the whole process works. You know, I think also the Facebook aspect of it all. For sure. So it's very simple. You log into our site. You can log in with Facebook. If you log in with Facebook, we pull your profile and kind of figure out what your interests and lifestyle is. For example, if you're 35, married, have an eight-year-old daughter, then I know exactly what your priorities are. It's good schools. It's being able to be close to public transit if you work outside of San Francisco. And then you have the lifestyle factor, right? Safe neighborhood, kid-friendly, a lot of kids around the area. So we can extract that information. And if all you did was log in with Facebook, we can now tell you which properties to look at that would help your lifestyle. And so that's our starting point. From there onwards, you could go and say, okay, I'm looking in San Francisco, but I don't quite agree with your recommendations. I need public transit. So you can dial up our public transit data, and it gives you a better access to areas that have higher public transit, even within San Francisco. So that's kind of the model, is it use Facebook to prime your recommendations, and then you can tune it yourself to get even more precise. I see. I see. So, so what you're really trying to do is create more relevancy of a Craigslist to to really tailor it to lifestyles that you're interested in or or other interests that you want to surround yourself with. And exactly. now, 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 will it actually also? Uh, well, I guess you know this is kind of an extended thing. Is that you know sometimes most of the time in rental situations, especially here in the city, it, roommates are involved. So, how, does that? How does that play? You know, it's an interesting question. We thought about that a lot. But then one of the things we realized is it's really complex. We didn't want to be in the business of connecting people because it's a very slippery slope. You know, that this is how escort services get started, right? You have two guys trying to find roommates, and pretty, sure, pretty soon we're an escort finder, which is not our intention. Right. So we tried to stay away from that. We figured you have a social circle. You can tap into your social circle. What we do allow you to do, however, is if you go on Facebook and log in, we show you which friends are in the area. So we show you, for example, if you're looking at San Francisco, we show you all your friends in the San Francisco area, and you can message them. But that's the extent to which we wanted to be involved in the roommate business. No, that, that makes sense. So, so anyway, you know, let, let's talk about you know, maybe let's talk about the business side. Um, I'm really curious. I, one thing I want to ask about you guys is how did you guys get together? I, I, I just, that, that, that's usually an interesting story with entrepreneurs. Yeah, I think uh, when I moved from Southern California to the Bay Area, uh, I was working with NetZero and started working with a startup company, and it was a healthcare loyalty program. And basically, I met Vic in that company. He was a head of the marketing and I was a head of technology. And then we, because he moved from Utah and I moved from Southern California. So we had a similar interest that, man, this industry doesn't have any technology. Can we do something? And when we used a lot of big data, we started thinking that there are so many things we can apply here. Uh, so that's what the reason that we started thinking. And then I came out of that company, Vic uh, came out afterwards and we started this company. Wow, well, that's a great story, and I think uh, it's interesting to capture a lot of these, especially on Nerd Soccer, on on a lot of these startup entrepreneurial stories. But so let's let's also shift to business. Uh, you know, tell us about your monetization model and how you you're you're gonna you're gonna fund this whole thing. So, you know, Greg, uh, when we were talking before, our our preemptive conversation was there's not really this isn't rocket science. This business is straightforward. There's three pieces. I either have to charge the landlord or I have to charge the tenant, or I have to come up with a premium ad-based model. Of the three of them, my personal bias is for the ad-based model. And I think we can do something super disruptive there. We model our platform a lot after Google. 
So what Google does phenomenally is when you search for something, they do an amazing job of taking 100 million prospective ads and showing you the four ads that you're most likely to click on. And that, in a nutshell, summarizes our model. You're looking at 1,000 properties, and we wanna, we're on our way to 1.5 million listings across the country. Imagine the conundrum you're going to be in when you search for San Francisco and you see 40,000 properties and you don't know where to begin. Even with our recommendation engine, you're going to see 3,000, 4,000. So what we decided to do there is allow landlords to actually bid to have top placement, and we only show the ads when they're relevant to you. Even if, let's say, someone was willing to pay us $50 a lead, if we didn't think that Greg fits in that property, we actually don't show the ads. And that's the model that's going to make this work. Yeah, so Greg, we have the information about your profile and what you like, and we're trying to match that kind of properties to show you as a feature properties, which will be good for you, instead of you searching through all the lists. Like I take example of Amazon. When you log in, you get a list of items which you think you'll like, and it'll go to buy it. So similarly, we're trying to show similar information for the rental properties. Hmm. No, that, that, I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, um, you know, and, and I think with Vic being kind of the, uh, a CRM expert from uh, Overstock.com, I think that uh, that makes a lot of sense. I think he knows what he's doing there. So. We'll see what happens. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we're going to close off this interview. I appreciate you guys having uh, having you on on uh, Nerdstalker here. But uh, so, uh, you know, uh, any any last minute thoughts about, you know, doing the entrepreneurial thing or startup thing that you want to share with the audience? Yeah, you know, if you're if you've never done it, do it. It's worth it. You know, it, you go from having a nice steady paycheck to living off of bones, but it's definitely worth the experience. Yes. I think Nitin and I have been doing this for a year, and we love every minute of it. Yeah, the one last thing is that you will learn so many things, and this is a lifetime experience. And if you do this, I think you can tell that this is what you have to do its whole life if you get successful. Wow, that's really cool. No, I, I think that's great advice. I appreciate that sharing it with our audience. Um, so, the, you know, that was Nitin and uh, Vic, uh, co-founders of, uh, of uh, Pleasanton-based uh, Rental Roost, uh, trying to disrupt the rental space uh, market. Um, uh, so, th you know, thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Blair, a.k.a. Social Greg, uh, for the Nerd Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, er us everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks, thanks, and then, Vic, I appreciate much. your time. Bye, Greg. Bye. All right, take care. Thanks. Okay.